Okay, so just going through the use of the Digisport stopwatch or the Ultrac 499 uh, with park run specifically in mind, but obviously these instructions can be used um, for um, other events. So what we'll do is we'll just start with the basic layout for Chrono. Um, we want to get onto the chrono mode and we can just do that by pressing the black button, um, scrolling through and getting to this screen. You'll see that there are three lines of times, uh, our number of memory slots here and also the mode that we're in. For park run, what we want to do is just check on this top, in the middle left hand side that this says um, uh, chrono split, not uh, speed. So if it says speed, we want to switch that to chrono split and we can do that just by pressing this button on the left hand side and just holding that in for a couple of seconds. So if we just do that, you can see there that we've gone to split chrono. Okay. Um, if you do accidentally use it in speed mode, um, you can use that data, you can use that information, but it's a bit fiddly because you need to use the manufacturer's software and not the park run software. Okay, so that's, um, that's us set and ready to go. So when we start the event, we want to be pressing the top right hand button, and then for each athlete, we press the top left button. So we'll just start that, and we'll click through a couple of um, runners and then we will go through what happens at the end of the run. So start the run and we're clicking through for a couple of runners. So we've come to the end of the run. We're now up to 10 runners and we want to stop the watch. So we just press the top right hand button, a single click, and that will stop our run. So that's the information that we've got. We need to then ask our timers to store that information, and that can be easily done just by pressing the top left hand button. Once you've stored it, you'll notice that the number in the top left hand side, which is the number of memory slots that the watch still has, has risen or has got dropped to 1985. Obviously that corresponds with the um, number of runners that you've uh, clicked through. So the higher the number, the higher the number of runners, the lower that will be. And all of our, our stopwatches or all of the watches have actually just returned to zero. So the run director can be given that and then handed over to results processing. So when we get to results processing, we need to make sure that obviously the um, stopwatch has been, the data has been saved and then we need to upload it to the computer. So we check to make sure that it's saved obviously as it was before with the um, clock set to zero and the number of memory slots um, should be less than 2000. We then click through mode and we go to our upload screen. Now you may see when you get this that actually it says rather than says upload all it says print all. That's just because somebody has probably pressed the red button, okay? And you can just toggle between print all and upload all just by clicking the red button. So print all and then upload. So once it's in that mode there, we need to obviously plug it into the computer. The computer will recognize that the stopwatch is there and it will then, you need to then press the top right hand button and it will start uploading the results. So you can see it's uploading there, and once it's finished, it goes upload end, and then it should, yeah, there, switch back to upload all. And there you go, that's all the results uploaded to the computer. You can then process them using the WebFMS um, software. So once you've uploaded the data, I would suggest uh, not clearing it until the following week, just in case you need to download the data again. But, um, so we're gonna assume it's sort of the following week and we need to get to a point where we're ready to start the, start the stopwatch again for a new run. So if nothing's been pressed during the week, then you'll still be on this screen. We need to get back to the uh, stop mo stopwatch mode, which is this one. And then we need to reset that because we've got still um, 
data in the memory. So the way that we can do that is we press the red button, okay, so that we get to the MCH screen and all that we need to do is hold this button in the top right down, okay, and it will start saying clear. If we keep the finger held on the button, it then switches to all clear and then all cleared. And what you'll see there is then there are 2000 memory slots, okay, and the stopwatch is ready to go. I hope this is helpful and uh, enjoy your Saturday morning run.